Already, man. What's popping, man? You already know Mr. J Hill. Uh, it's a conversation series. Um, episode uh, thirteen. Shout out to Mahi's Brandy, uh, DMV local guy. Make sure you check him out, man. Make sure you support the cause. Shit tastes good too. Um, my nigga, stay true. D nice is in the building. Already. What's popping, yeah. dog? First and foremost. Cool. Man. Let's get it. Let's let's get straight to it. Welcome home, nigga. Already. Can we drink to that? Definitely. Welcome home, motherfucker. Yeah. Welcome home. Bro, so first of all, how how long you had behind the bars? I had. They gave me originally. They gave me ten. I also spent them a three. Damn. You feel me? They gave me ten. I also spent them a three, but I only did two years on it because mm -hmm. it was non-violent. They take a year off out the rip for real. Okay. I end up doing two on it. I came home on the box, but you know how I be niggas start fucking up. I had to go back in and do the rest of my time for real. So then after that. This we here now, you hear me? Already. I just hey. came home two weeks ago. Shout my nigga True in the building too. He uh Yeah, came that's my through. brother, you hear me? Did the freestyle, he bodied it. I yeah, fuck with it. Yeah. Make sure on the building, Southside. Definitely know. Um so you said it wasn't violent. What, what what did you get arrested for? I got I got arrested for the baby, the gun and some drugs and shit, a whole bunch of drugs and the house raid for real. You feel me? Just, so they was watching you for real? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. In 2018, I was doing a lot of videos, like on some young shit with a whole bunch of guns in there and all that. So, you know, that shit, that shit. Our city's not like that in other cities. They, them niggas got license and shit. You feel me? Them, our city, they coming to get you. Uh huh. Dang. Fact. You feel Don't get me? it they fucked up. A lot of niggas think niggas be in Atlanta with these guns, but you can have a gun in yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, you, you, you can have that shit down there. Uh -huh. You feel me? So it's, it's different. You feel me? Up here, you have that shit. They on your ass. They pulling up looking for you. You feel me? So looking back on that, man, how do you how do you look at everybody that's still making these videos? Because a lot of niggas still doing it, making the videos with the guns and the videos that, that they not supposed to have it outside of these these uh cities like Atlanta and shit like that. Shit, I don't I ain't I ain't gonna say don't do it because I didn't did it, you feel me? And uh, I mean, with that music shit, motherfuckers be wanting to see what you what you about. They be wanting to they wanna see if you rapping about guns and money, they wanna see guns and money. You rap mm. about guns and money and I'm sure, you feel me? It's different, but but with me, I don't, I ain't, I ain't really, I don't care for it no more. I done already showed the, the, the world what's up with me. That we got them sticks, Glocks, nines, ARs, text, all that type shit. So, so um, being, being booked for two years, um, how was it, man? Like, like what was some of the shit you had to go through? Shit, I ain't. I, it's just like being. No, nah, I ain't gonna say it's just like being home, but it, you just go, you just get smarter over time. Just sharpen you up. You feel me? It show you that, that shit still gonna be there you feel me because everything in there moves slow so when you get up town and you're moving fast it can show you it show you how to slow down you feel me because you know where you just came from but it'd be a lot of shit you go through in there you be just be feeling like you dead to the world sometimes it'd be it's a lot of depression anxiety and shit like that ptsd shit like that when you in there but how was it for you though like specifically for me i ain't gonna lie it, my shit i ain't really i was chilling for real you feel me? i stayed out the way just did my time so i can come home you feel me I was just laid back on that type tip, but I was just going through, basically going through shit about trying to get back home. I wasn't really having too many problems in there. You feel me? If it was, it got solved, but I was just basically trying to get back home to the music. I was missing out on so much shit. I wasn't trying to rush home. I was just trying to get back to the music. It's been two years since I dropped, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I, yeah, as soon as I dropped my tape, I got chipped two days left. So I ain't even really get the promoter or none of that, you feel me? So I was just really trying to get back out to the music. That's what so, I was focused on. Why do you think you had to even go that route, the street route, to have the tones? You know what I'm saying? Fuck being in a video, because that's real life. Even to have to have it on you. Like what what do you, what did you see as a youngin coming up to made you think like I gotta have this? Shit, I ain't gonna hold you. My man, my brother died mm. when I was fifteen. So then after that, it was just like I just started thugging. I'm like, shit, everybody got time, everybody gonna go, so you feel me? You, I'd rather get caught with this bitch than without it, you hear me? I got shot when I was 16, mm. you feel me? So uh, it just, man. You feel in me? that you situation know, you growing got, up in the projects, that's just how, that's what you see every day. You have some people that pick it up because they think it's cool. Right. And see, they want to fit in. Then you got other niggas that pick it up because they feel see, like they got to. See, my circumstances were different than everybody. I really had it hard. It wasn't like, like, you know how some guys, they from the projects, but they mothers, took care of them real mm -hmm. good, what they well taken care of. They didn't have all the school shoes, all the joy mm -hmm. and all that shit. I ain't get, I, I was going to school with jump mans on and shit like that. Everybody else joking on a nigga, mm -hmm. shit like that. I really had, it. I'm talking about eviction notices on the doors and shit like that, moving from my aunt house to my grandmother shit, you feel me, shit like that. 
You fam, no nothing getting nothing for Christmas. I'm gonna go over my stepmother shit or my man shit for Christmas. Like my man J Dub, his mother always made sure I had something for Christmas. Like after my brother died, I, I moved with my man J Money for like three years straight. His mother took care of me. So you felt like you had to like go hustle to like get what you wanted to get. Yeah, not even what I wanted to get, but just help my mother out, make sure my sister got what she got. It was one year when I went to high school. My sister ain't getting no school clothes or none of that. She ain't even go to school. She was crying and all that. My father let her down, told me he was gonna get her all that shit. Shit ain't come through. Now, Out of that, I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. I grew up in the projects and like I was one of the kids that didn't have the shit. Like I was fighting every day because niggas was making fun of me. Right. But I didn't take like I'm not about to sit up and stunt. I didn't take the, the street route. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like I'm like, man, I gotta stay in school so I can make it work. Yeah, no question. Where do you think where do you think that that dynamic changes? Because like you felt like you had to, you know what I'm saying? And see, I wonder why. See, but one thing about me, I understand like when life don't give you shit, you can still make lemonades. My sister, she come from the same struggle, the same struggle I came from, and she a teacher. She mm. she she still in college. She ready to be a lawyer. You feel me? So it just it ain't like you gotta take that route, but it's like all right, college and shit, the good route. That's you gotta have patience with that shit. That's twenty years from now, ten mm -hmm. years from now. You yep. feel what I'm saying? And the street route is right across the street. It's, it's easy. You yeah. feel me? You you live in a project. They they selling drugs right across the street. You feel what I'm saying? You can get that easy money, or you can wait. 10, 15 years till you graduate college and then start making a couple of dollars, you feel me? And then live that life, but that's so just how America you feel for about you. the niggas that came, that was before you, right? The niggas that put you on and, and helped you in a sense, because I know those niggas on the corner was telling me stay in school. They wasn't, they wasn't trying to have me sell drugs. Right. They was like, nah, fuck this. Go, go Shit, that's, a, that's, how, that's, that's how a couple of my older, older homeboys was. Like my man Vito, God rest his soul. He always told me like, bro, Take your lawyer to school them four years gonna fly like as soon as i went to high school and i wanted to start hanging out on the block and all that type shit he like man take your ass to school man like them four years gonna fly and damn sure i dropped out on the 10th grade damn sure them four years flew like mm. i was supposed to graduate 2018 i ain't even graduate i went to school i went to high school 2014. you think you'll ever go back to try to get your ged or anything i was trying to get my shit while i was locked up but uh, that school i told my mother the same thing school ain't school ain't, that shit ain't for everybody you feel me i feel as though like well, my problem with school was I'm wasting. Eight, it's like working a job for free. You and that bitch mm -hmm. eight hours. You don't get paid no money. I could be outside for eight making hours money. and making money. That's how I looked at it. Okay. You know? So I just stopped. Going how do you look at everything now that you just got out of prison and shit? Shit. Off the camera, you were saying something about like, man, make you want to come home and not do shit. Yeah. When you locked up, when you locked up, you tell yourself like, shit, I ain't gonna get out. Like when I, I ain't gonna say that on here. But it just like when you locked up, you like, I ain't gonna do this. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna pick this up. I ain't gonna bust. When you get home and you back in the trenches and you know you, and me being a rap man, you know you talking and you walking through the mall, niggas looking at you. They could be really fans, but you in the streets though, so mm. you 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 not going. And then when you got PTSD and all that, and you got anxiety, you think everybody ought to get you. You gonna have you gonna you, you gonna be heavy. You feel me? Yeah, you gotta make sure you, you good. Question: Being a rap man and being a well known rapper like yourself, right? And this is one thing that I struggle with. Do you feel like sometimes you paranoid because? everybody know who you is but right. you don't know who the fuck other niggas exactly right? right that's exactly what it is and then with me now like even when i make it big though don't don't get me wrong i'm still gonna protect myself and make sure i'm good but in this city like me from being me being from this city a nigga got problems with niggas like nigga mm. ain't you know when you get money and you don't so you gonna have enemies so mm. even the niggas that don't know me that just you know our city fucked up anyway nigga do something to you just because you want the stripes for oh yeah i did the nice you feel me but yeah you got how, how would you explain you. if somebody came to you that's not from baltimore like yo tell me about baltimore how would you tell them what would you tell them about baltimore it ain't shit here dip leave don't come here like why would you come here out of all places it's nothing here bro like nothing like it's, it's great but it's crazy it's it's crazy that you say I that i know but it's i'm talking about far as like opportunity it ain't nothing here like. but it's crazy that you say that because like i I used to feel the same way, but at the same time, I feel like everybody that's from Baltimore ha has a little bit of that feeling in them. Yeah. But so, but we so prideful of being from Baltimore at the same time. Like, yeah. how can that coexist? Like, I love that effect. I love the fact that I'm from Baltimore. I love the fact that I'm from Baltimore. I love the fact that I'm from the projects because it made me. It made yeah. me who I am. I wouldn't be the stir stand up guy if it if if, if, if it wasn't for but my struggles. But it's like the same time you act like. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, real shit. Because nah. you know, with Baltimore, it's only two. Like, 
it, it be niggas that ain't even in the streets get their ass. You feel me? Get killed over law shit. You might just drive a nice car. You didn't went to college. Mm-hmm. You 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 leasing this car. A nigga rob you. You feel me? But believe it or not, bro, a lot of niggas. I ain't gonna say a lot of niggas. Some niggas try to have one foot in and one foot out though. Right. Like they try to do the good, trying to do good things, but they got a, a foot in in the in streets, the streets. Yeah, trying definitely. to make extra money or something like that, and then it go wrong. And then you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with the fact that you like you you here to have this story. Right. Let's get to the music, man. How, when did you see yourself start getting popping? Shit, I'm, I ain't even gonna hold you. When I dropped my first song, I already had the confidence. Like in one year, due time, I'm gonna blow. But it's it's different from because every a lot of niggas got confidence, my, but you got the numbers behind. Yeah, it. my first song, my first song did like a hundred thousand in a month. So was you already popular? Like how did it work? Like how did I was, that happen? I wasn't. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say I was popular. Like before I started rapping, my Instagram was on private. I had like. 700 followers i just was known for getting a couple of dollars just being a stand-up guy street dude type thing and then when i just post something on instagram me rapping they were like we know we know he ain't lying we know right. it's facts because we didn't been around him you feel me and then that shit just grew and then i dropped my first video and then that bitch hit a hundred thousand in one month i'm like shit, i gotta drop another one right and so I, you think um that you, you you mentioned like niggas know you been a street nigga niggas know you ain't lying yeah you think that helped a lot of rapper careers and that's one question and the, and the follow-up question is do you think a lot of people chasing the street life because they know it will help or because they think that it will help their rap career i mean i don't think a nigga chasing it but it it's the only way that should help you with your rap career if if that's what you rapping about mm. you feel me like but at the same time you still got niggas out here that don't ain't never lived none of that shit, but still be rapping that shit. There's a lot you of them that's, that's doing that. That's not doing none of that shit. They never did none of that shit. And they blow up, you feel me? Just because of they hard, they sound, or whatever, you feel me? But I don't. Where do you see yourself in the, um, making music now? That's you just, you fresh out. Where do you see yourself in this music industry, in the city specifically? Shit, I'm at the drop November 29th. Stay true, never fold. That's on the way. You feel me? I ain't even drop. I'm just, I've been working ever since I came home. I've just been working. I'm at the drop everything T- 10 songs straight you can play that bitch all the way through like the tape already done i'm just waiting to drive it how the love how do you feel like the love is in the city when it comes to other artists so you think you, you think you get a lot of love from all the i artists? ain't gonna lie right like in 2018 when up before i got locked up and shit, it, it wasn't a lot it was some niggas that support you some niggas you feel me but now ever since i came home it's like it's been a lot of love like niggas been you can tell that the city really trying they they know that niggas know now like man we gotta stick together like or yeah. or a nigga ain't gonna get up out of this bitch because a nigga be like i support a lot of niggas niggas support me you feel me that's how we gonna get out of here you feel last me? thing bro um how do you feel about being an artist is popping um how do you feel about all the people that we lost in the city of course you was locked up for a lot of niggas like i don't know you know g songs yeah yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah, g songs yeah. yeah i know uh, he's funny dude like it's, we lost a lot of people, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got niggas that's booked. If we ain't lose niggas, we got niggas that's booked for a long time. How do you feel about that state of the culture in Baltimore? That's the fucked up part about it. But at the same time, a nigga rapper, but that's what come with the streets. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. That shit ain't all glitter gold. It might look glitter gold because what a nigga, nigga be shining, but that's it's two sides of that shit. You know what I mean? Heads and tails, you you got the side where shit go downhill, and you got the side and you want you you gonna be winning. So where you going at, at, at now that you out? You are you standing like what you doing now, man? I'm a rapper. I ain't, I'm a rapper. I hope, bro. I hope you stay that rapper. way, dog. For real. I'm, I'm 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 when I say this, I mean it. I'm genuine about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't seen it, you didn't did it. You don't right. gotta do it no more. Yeah, I ain't. You know I'm what I'm saying? And I mean that, bro. Like for real. Like Definitely. I ain't about to tell you what you shouldn't do again. I ain't about to preach to you, but. I, just talking to you, I feel a, I feel the energy, and I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel, I feel a, the genuineness, and I, I'm, I'm tired of losing niggas to the streets, jail yeah, no or, question. you know what I'm saying? Hell um, yeah. I'm, I'm saying for real, man, for real. Like I, I'm supporting you, I'm behind you, and be a rapper, nigga. Definitely. I'ma say that shit to you. I ain't scared to tell you that shit. Be a rapper. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't scared to be a rapper. <laughs> I done did everything in the streets. There ain't nothing that I ain't, that I ain't do. So Already. Much. Well, I'm glad I was able to chop it up with you, man. Let's get to this freestyle. All right, come on. Stay true, D nice, Mr. J Hill. Uh, this is a conversation series, episode 12. Shout out to Lante Base God on the camera because he just make it look nice. We out. <laughs>